Hey, if you enjoyed these videos, make sure you smash that like button. Comment below, that way I can drive more content for you as well. And consider subscribing, it truly does help out my channel. Hello, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we are going to be replacing our ratcheting tie-down straps on the rear of the trailer. When I first purchased my first set, it was a company that I had done some research on, read the reviews, but had never used. They have since failed. They no longer retract on their own. They are just, they are hard to pull out and corrosion just kind of tore them up and I do all my preventative maintenance. So what I have here today is a product that I think you all are going to love. Um, this is no longer galvanized. This is going to be stainless steel retractable straps, tie downs for the rear of your Yamaha. Let's get into it. Today's video has been brought to you by Better Boat. Better Boat has a ton of products for all your boat needs and is family owned right here in the USA. You can shop their webpage at betterboat.com or click the link below in the description for this exact product. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, so today's episode has been brought to you by Better Boat. They were kind enough to send me out these boat ratchet straps um, so that I could change out the ones that failed me and use their new straps. Now, I can already tell you the weight difference, the quality of the build, and the actual hardware itself is of much higher quality. This is all stainless steel as well as stainless steel hardware. And then you also have mounting brackets, which would have came in handy last time, but the company that I used before did not provide them. Therefore, on my installation today, I'm going to find the best opportune spot to make sure I mount these ratchet straps. Some of the tools you're gonna need are obviously gonna be some, um, a socket set, I use an impact with an adapter, and then of course a crescent wrench. Or so to come down here and show you before what had happened was, is I bought these from a, another company. Uh, they are galvanized steel, but the problem is, is they rusted out. And down here is where the um, old quick release was for these ratchet straps. And it, within, I would say, three months, fell apart from rust and corrosion. Uh, the galvanizing process on these is not good. And also, without having that extra mount that they provided, you can see here that the angle is so sharp that it actually goes into my light. Now, at the moment, these are loose. I don't have them tight. But when you tighten it down, you can definitely tell. As well as their hooks, the coating on them was not good. Um, basically, it stored the salt and salt water inside of it and it rusted from inside the coating. So the coating was worthless on these. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be replacing those now with the new Better Boat Boat Ratchet Straps. So let's go ahead and get started. Now that I have the original strap off, you can see here that the moving parts on that galvanized just couldn't hold up. Anywhere there was kind of metal to metal contact. You can see I've got preventative coatings on it. Everywhere, I, I mean, it was coated and protected. It just wasn't a very good coating by the manufacturer. Uh, this is the nut that came with the ratchet part itself. Now, the mounting hardware it came with is still in great shape. So I think this stainless steel hardware shows the difference between galvanized and, um, you know, stainless steel. Uh, I, I have usually had good, I've usually had good results with galvanized but I just think that maybe this company's 
galvanized process isn't that good. You can see the rivet broken there. And yeah, I mean, they're garbage. But it's time to upgrade. So now what I want to do is I want to get a plan because they tell you that whenever you're installing a boat strap, you want to make sure that this point to your boat strap point is the straightest point possible. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a plan together and figure out how best to mount this new um, boat strap from Better Boat. Let's get to it. I have the first strap installed and what I decided to do was because of the improper location that Shorelander places their um, strapping mount for us that puts our strap down point which is right here at a hard angle out this way and it also crosses over our light well that was an issue because one that's not the way to have a proper working load on these. They're supposed to be straight, um, not to the side or pulling away from. So you have to have a straight path. So what I did is I actually mounted it underneath the trailer I-beam. And the reason I did this is because it has the most clearance there. And I also did it for the reason that when this load is applied, it is gonna be straight back. It's gonna come straight back to the actual hook point. So as I come, I am now straight in line with my hook point and I have a strong mount. Whereas with the piece that they left for the straps, this tended to move and bend as you pulled and disformed. Whereas this I-beam is not going to. And the thing with the aluminum trailer, it makes it very easy to drill this I-beam because it's aluminum, so it's soft. This is a standard DeWalt drill with a standard DeWalt drill bit. And I was able to drill that hole very simply. Now make sure that you clean up your shavings. Obviously you don't want metal shavings, so I'll get my shop back out here and back up around here. But this is the point I decided to put it on, straight back to here. I have clearance under the light, um, and you wanna make sure that your ratchet isn't gonna be, or your strap isn't gonna be hitting the I-beam. So you could even come a little more forward with it if you'd like to, but mine is still safe. And, you know, tighten it up. Easy day. Boom, I release it. Easy day, tighten her back up. There we go. And now she's tight, strapped in. The strap does not affect the light. It's not hitting the light. It looks like it, but it clears it as well as it clears the I-beam as well. So we're good on both of those points. If you feel uncomfortable, you can always move this forward just a hair here um, and mount it between those other bolts there to give you more clearance, bringing this out further. But just make sure you have at least half of this uh, mounted surface here underneath the I-beam so that when you're ratcheting it, uh, you're not damaging the product itself. But yeah, I mean, this thing is smooth. I mean, easy to use very smooth i'm i'm really liking it i mean look at that quick and easy now another thing i learned about theirs and the uh competitions is as you can see here on the bottom side you're gonna need to access that bolt so when you access that bolt you can see here they have a u-shape opening for you to get in there with a wrench or a socket if need be and get to it whereas let me show you what 
the other company did, which was a terrible design. There's a bar across it and you can't get to, you literally have to disassemble this piece here to mount it and then the spring is actually on this and when you do that your spring comes apart and you have to rebuild the kit so it was terrible and i'm glad i got rid of this like i said they're still functioning as ratcheting but they uh they're just not very good i mean the quality is terrible this mount point's terrible you can tell here like all the flexibility in that and hence the reason i moved to the i-beam so yeah one down, one to go. Let's get to it. All right, so the job is complete and I have to say that was much easier. You can feel the quality difference. They are solid built ratchet straps for your tie downs and I'm excited. I think they look great. I think the blue webbing uh, nylon fabric that they use is very sharp along with the stainless steel attachments and the stainless steel body this thing should last me a long long time into the future so let me go ahead and walk you around one more time for the install now again this is the better boat boat ratchet straps okay and two of the points i want to point out on this sheet are they talk about to make sure that the strap is in a straight line with the point as well as making sure it's not touching on anything around it. So you wanna make sure that you keep your sharp edges away and stuff like that. I don't know if you can see it from the camera angle here, but that ratchet strap isn't actually touching the metal. Um, if you want to move this mount point forward just a little bit, there's nothing wrong with that. And I did that on the other side just to show you um, what it would look like. But it's very simple to use. Push the blue tab in. That puts it into release mode. You get your slack. Take it out. You can land on the ground like that just for this time. Pull the button and it automatically um, retracts for you. All right. Make sure you're in the retractable mode. You can pull it out. Hook it to your point, push the blue in, come into the ratcheting position, and ratchet her down. And that's it. Now your boat is secured, ready to go. It looks clean, it's sharp. And you can see it's in a uh, pretty straight alignment. As best as you're gonna get, it is on the outboard section as far as I could get it for the tie down point on the boat. Over here on this side, um, one thing I did do was move my license plate to the side instead of underneath. Um, yes, um, I know you're going to get comments here and unfortunately on our trailer there's not much you can do. You could always bolt down there and uh, buy a longer bolt to go through. Problem with that is, is you're not getting your straight on ratcheting the way you're supposed to. Uh, you're going to get a pinch point pulling away from the body of the trailer or from the frame of the trailer and creating weak points in your ratcheting system. Whereas here, you're getting the best strength and durability and it's out of the way of anything to cause any damage. So me moving my license plate over to the side, yes, I know there's gonna be comments that your license plate has to be lit up and it has to be lit up by the light that's underneath this and that these straps block the tail lights, but I'm gonna show you on my Instagram page that the trailer lights are not um, impeded by the ratchet straps. You can still see my tail light brakes. There's plenty of light. Um, it's only a, a, a portion of it. And then again, my license plate is out and readable for law enforcement. So that's where I'm going to put it. And if it becomes an issue later on, then I will look for a new place. But the security of my boat is more important to me than the actual lighting up of the license plate. So over here, you can see that I also moved it forward a little bit. Uh, the web strapping is away from anything. That way, in case you are worried about it, you can clearly see here it's not touching, whereas it's very 
close to touching on the other side and all I did was move that mount bolt just a little bit further. Again, same thing here. You just push yourself into the release function and what that does is that gives you your um, ability to pull your strap out, take it off, put it on, you hold the button down, it'll retract, you're ready to strap, move it to the forward position, give yourself a couple locks, and you're tight. One more. There we go. Now we're tight. And now we got no stress. And our ratchets, stainless steel from Better Boat Products. Uh, I'm severely impressed. They did a great job and I still have the mounting brackets and spare bolts for the mounting brackets for the future in case I want to do something else with those. Again, that did not come with the other set, but at this time I am recommending Better Boats ro Boat Ratchet Straps. Two inch wide by 43 inches long. All right. This is the FSH dude, man. I see you on the water.